our cash. We're gonna go ahead and sign the log here. Hi, welcome back. I'm Susan. And I'm Ken. And we are Captivating, Captivating Journey. Journey. Taking weekend trips and vacation time in our RV was just not long enough to really see the sights of our beautiful nation. So we took the plunge to get out of the rat race and on the road to enjoy this lifestyle. As of December 2021, we sold our house and most of our belongings and moved into our RV full time. Our home now is a 43 foot RV named Kit and we travel with our four cats, Patches, Ranger, and the two siblings, Bailey and Kalua. Our mission is to explore the U.S., seeing new sights, enjoying new scenery, meeting new people, and making new friendships along the way. So, so we, we invite, invite you to, to come, come along, along with us on our, our journey. journey. So we're here in Beaver, Utah. It's a quaint little town. I guess it's really known for the creamery, which is a uh, kind of a little restaurant area. They have cheese curds, ice cream. We uh, stopped in and had some of their ice cream. Um, it was really a busy place. We didn't do any filming in there, but it was packed. Um, did see they had some, they did have some of the cheese curds, but not my type. So while we were out and about, we were doing some geocaching and it took us to this nice little park. And there's our, our cache. We're gonna go ahead and sign the log here. Today is the 30th. And then we're gonna go ahead and after we sign the log, we're gonna go ahead and put it back into its hiding spot for the next person to find. In downtown Beaver, we had to stop at this monument. Now this monument was erected by the people of Beaver County to honor the men and women from this county who served their country during World War. Definitely a lot of families. This is loyalty. Duty. Department of the Army. Department of the Navy. Department of the Air Force. Department of the Navy. United States Marine Corps. United States Coast Guard and then our National Guard for the veterans those ordinary yet extraordinary individuals who serve to keep us free thank you so much for your service So we're actually taking a scenic drive up to Eagles Point in Beaver, Utah. Eagles Point is actually a ski resort, but it's, um, of course it's the end of May right now, so nobody's skiing, but it's an actually beautiful drive. And we're right by the Beaver River. Now this is better than the creek we walked out in uh, <laughs> Look at that. This is Beaver River. I wonder where it's running off from. It's got to be snow running off. 
Do we dare? Oh, tell me how cold it is. <laughs> it's gonna be cold, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold? Now we're just for fingers. <laughs> oh, you want to try? Okay, I'll try it. Yeah. Alright, Susan. <laughs> She's gonna try it. Let me get back here so I can. <laughs> Would you jump in? <laughs> oh. That is cool. Oh, this is so beautiful. Listen to that water. This is a picnic area where you can actually just come and uh, have a nice little picnic. It is a fee, which we'll look and see how much that is. But let's just take a look at this here. This is gorgeous. A little bit nippy. I think we went uh, down about 10 degrees from the campsite uh, where we're at right now. Other side. This is a really nice little picnic area. Seven dollars for group site, seven dollars vehicle day use. That's not too bad, seven dollars. They have little restrooms over here, it looks like. Probably just kind of a enclosed outhouse. So we took a drive up, I don't know if it's, it's Utah 153 from our campground where we're staying at. We came up to a place that was called Eagle, Eagles Point Ski Resort, I believe. We took a drive into the ski resort, but it almost looks like it's closed or under construction. Um, so I don't know if it's opened normally during the season, but anyways, from there, we noticed that there was a small lake. Uh, we're at about 10,000 feet, actually just slightly under now because we came down a little bit. So about 9,800 feet elevation to a lake called Puffer Lake. I'm sure you can do some fishing. Uh, currently, I don't see anybody on the lake and it's about 42, 43 degrees out. You can see some Little patches of snow still on the ground, but what a cool sight.
nice and peaceful. I do hear some, I guess they're doing some logging, so I, I hear some cutting of the trees. But not too much activity on the lake right now. All right, today we're going to go ahead and do, I guess it's called Sage Trail. Um, it's uh, We're at the Mammoth Trailhead, just uh, in Beaver, Utah. So uh, here we go. I think it's supposed to be, what, 3.5 miles? Okay, we're off. Crossing that river that we uh, saw on our drive. These cactus are really in bloom. They're so incredibly pretty. We've got a lot of cactus up here and uh, is that going to be the flowering or the fruit? Because I know it flowers first and then creates a fruit. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> we just completed the uh, hike. Yep. Yeah. Um, it was, it's at Mammoth, uh, Mammoth Trailhead. Yes. And I guess the hiking trail that we were actually on was Sage Advice. Yeah, it was a loop trail. And there are a lot of trails that kind of, um, there we go, that was the trail that we just Oops, did. covering up Susan. <laughs> <laughs> so 4.84 total, uh, it took us, Right, right two, hours. two hours two hours and there's a lot of trails that kind of go off on the trail but it was really well marked of what your trail was or if you want to do something yeah. um, this trail does um, bikes and uh, hikers yeah. um, and runners but no no ATVs and some are even blocked out for horseback right there's one so. area for a trail that is even was even blocked out for um, hikers it was a yeah. uh, bikes only going down most likely it looked like a really steep down. No, nope, not um, for me. <laughs> so, but uh, but now it was you, a, this trail is on your, you have a trail app, right? Yes, this is so on... Um, all trails or something? I'll, put, I'll help go ahead and put down what the, the app is. This was she actually on good, it. So, so but uh, um, it was a really good, it was a good hike. Yeah, um, I enjoyed it. There looks like there was possibly some burn areas, unfortunately. We didn't get to see any real wildlife. We did see a chipmunk and some <laughs> birds and... Um, we heard a lot of cicadas, or what I call cicadas. Um, yeah, either locust, cicada, yeah, locust. I don't know the difference between the two, but um, we did hear a lot of that. And um, Mostly at the beginning and the end of the trail, we heard the, the locusts or whatever. In the trees, yeah. the trees. We went through one area, like I said, that kind of looked like it was burnt out. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if that's what actually occurred. If you do know, do uh, give us some comments in the, in the comment field down below. And uh, we'd really like to know what might have happened over in that area. Um, but it was, it was a good hike. It was mostly for um, exercise. So, I mean, we didn't hike to a falls or anything like that. It was just a nice little, nice little hike up here outside of Beaver. It's not too bad. I think you, uh, Susan was telling me it's about a 200 foot elevation gain gain overall and currently we're sitting at about 6100 feet elevation just at the start of the trail so maybe about 63 6400 feet yeah, is and, what you'll be hiking at and today is not a cloud in the sky it's blue skies and we're about 61 degrees out yeah, right it's now probably higher i don't think the cars hit that but yeah I, we're probably about 68 to 70 degrees right now very light winds but it was a good hike yeah. and um 
now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some relaxing and maybe we'll take another scenic drive. We'll see. Okay. Talk Bye. to you guys later. Hike Hell's Kitchen, it's a mini Bryce Canyon.